go. And out from the back comes Peggy Rosberg and Pique leads into Tarzan from Prost with Derek Warwick going through and passing the JPS of Elio De Angelis. It's Pique leading, Prost second. Then it's Patrick Tombe and Peggy Rosberg is well up and who broke Gatter in the Dutch orange painted spirit is bringing up the rear. Well, that was one of Pico's best starts of the season. But conversely, I was watching the middle of the field and Nicky Lauda was very slow away. So now, on lap nine, out of 71, it's Nelson Pique leading, it's Alain Prost second, it's Rosberg third, Lauda fourth, Tombe fifth, the Angelis sixth, Warwick there in seventh position, and behind Derek Warwick, Jack Lafitte eighth, Ayrton Senna is ninth, Theo Farby is tenth, Arnoux is eleventh, Bootsen is twelfth, That's a, that's a Brabham out down there. Now, is it Farby or is it Pique? I don't know, and I'm not going to hazard a guess. It's too important, obviously. But certainly, either Theo Farby or Nelson Pique are out of the Dutch Grand Prix. It looks like Nelson Pique, in which case there's a change for leadership and a change now for what is second place. And once again, we have the McLarens in first and second places with Alain Prost now leading on lap 12 followed by number eight Nicky Lauda in third position it's still Rosberg just behind Rosberg is Manfred Finkelhock who has been lapped and is about to be caught and passed by the red winged Renault of Patrick Tolbe fourth Elio De Angelis fifth Warwick sixth Lafitte seventh and Teo Farby is still right up with them in eighth position And this is the leader, this is lap 30, that is Alain Prost, he's followed by Lauda. Rosberg is still soldiering on in third position, but he's now some 29 seconds behind the McLaren of Alain Prost, the leader. Six seconds ahead of Patrick Torbe, who is still fourth. Elio De Angelis is still fifth. Up into sixth position has come Nigel Mansell. So Renault-powered cars are 4th, 5th and 6th, Torbe, De Angelis and Mansell. Down to 7th has gone Arnoux. Well, something very interesting just going on down beneath our contra position in the Renault pit is that I've just seen uh, the signal that be given an in arrow for uh, Torbe's car. Now, that presumably means that they're planning a scheduled tower change and these uh, are something that have gone out of the window a bit this year with uh, people running being able to carry enough fuel to do the whole race so we may be seeing what would appear to be a scheduled tyre stop for Patrick Tombe we will wait, wait and see so we can here he is he's coming into the pits Patrick Tombe you see him to the left of your picture that means to say that up into fourth position has gone De Angelis fifth now there he is is Nigel Mansell and let's see how long this pit stop takes start the stopwatch Furious gesticulation, the board held it up to tell Patrick Tombe to keep his brakes on so that the mechanics at the rear can get the wheel on smoothly. And they've had a bit of trouble with the left rear away. A, 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 one can only describe that as a rotten pit stop. There are the two Lotuses who will also be candidates for being lapped reasonably soon. And it's just the sort of, it's cars doing their sort of speed, which is pretty close to the full race pace from the parents that cause the most potential trouble when being lapped. These two Lotus drivers, no doubt, well embroiled in their own personal battle. Being teammates, they both have identical stars, so it's a matter of huge pride uh, who wins. And uh, they may not see the leaders coming if they're that embroiled. Well, this is the thing I have been unashamedly looking forward to. There's an intense personal rivalry between number 11, Elio De Angelis, and number 12, Nigel Mansell. It seems virtually certain that one of them is going to lose his place in the team in 1985. Each will be determined that it shall be the other. And one of the ways that they will decide to resolve it is by finishing highest in the Dutch Grand Prix. And thus far, of course, Elio De Angelis has got a much better record than Nigel Mansell, largely because he has been able to finish in so many races where... Nigel Mansell has failed to finish in eight of the 12 that have already been held. The race position on lap 50 
with 21 to go is Alain Prost leading Nicky Lauda by 10.4 seconds and now we have some excitement because the third, fourth and fifth men are together on the circuit. And here is the third, it's Keggy Rosberg, Elio De Angelis, Nigel Mansell. So the two GPS cars with so much at stake, not just for the team but the drivers, have caught up to Keggy Rosberg. It looks as though there's going to be a change for third position very shortly with the McLaren in the background. So that must be, it is Alain Prost. Alain Prost is up to Nigel Mansell who is in fifth position. Prost fairly scorching his way through the field. Now, we're going to see some real interest now because neither Rosberg, De Angelis or Mansell are going to make it easy for Prost to get past. Therefore, Nicky Lauda will be able to close and Nigel Mansell is having a go at De Angelis. That was the way that uh, Prost took off Piquet last year. But De Angelis kept out of Mansell's wheel tracks. And Nigel Mansell forcing his Italian teammate very hard indeed. Meantime, Nicky Lauda will be seeing his opportunity. He can see that Prost is going to be held up by the two John Player special cars and by the Williams and he will be cramming on all possible speed. So, Prost leads, Lauda second, the gap now is, has increased to 14, as you can see, seconds. And Alain Prost is right with the third, fourth, fifth net. That's Mansell. Round the top part of the circuit, down to Panorama, this is about 160 miles an hour they're doing down to Boss Wheat an increasing speed here. Rosberg and round go Mansell and the Angelis absolutely together and Nigel Mansell has done it. He's gone ahead of his teammate. He's up into fourth position now. Prost is going to take the Angelis who is immediately dropped back as Mansell got past him. So Prost has disposed of one of those quick men. Still in the top six they are, don't forget. And Nicky Lauda's going to face a big problem. Yes, it was quite a fraught piece of, of uh, manoeuvring coming down the main straight last time. Nigel Mansell was tucked up behind De Angelis. He, De Angelis took to the inside to, to force Nigel to go the long way around, but as Nigel got sucked up in the toe behind him, he then moved over and uh, followed Rosberg, and that got him slingshot round the outside, and Mansell's having a look down the inside, oh, and he's, oh, he was right on the limit of breaking, but he did it. Well done, Nigel. He um, was a little bit slow out as a result of that uh, very on-the-limit manoeuvre, and he's really charged up now. Now, you see, now he locks his brakes. The car gets a little bit sideways there. He gets a little bit of a twitch on, but uh, he held it well, and he squeezed down the inside and Nigel Mansell now moves up into third place and a very very good drive indeed for Mansell another McLaren steamroller Nigel Mansell the only driver left on the same lap as the two all conquering McLarens there is the flag the winner Alain Prost A dominant fifth victory of the year then for Alain Prost with second Nicky Lauda, third Nigel Mansell, fourth Elio De Angelis, fifth Theo Fabi and sixth Patrick Tombe. Nigel, an hour and a half's hard, hard labour, how do you feel? Only an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was about six hours. Well, in your team and in racing you've done yourself a power of good today but the, the paddock is seething with rumours that Senna is going to be driving for JPS next year in which case one of you's out. If it's true, who is it going to be? Uh, I'd hazard a guess that probably Artan Senna is going to join Lotus. Um, as for who's leaving the team, uh, probably there's a good possibility it would be me. <laughs> well, if, if it was you, uh, the rumours say that you might be going to Williams. What would you have to say about Williams? that? Williams? Who are they? <laughs> I don't know, Murray. It's very, very difficult at this point in time. Uh, I'm talking currently to two or three other teams too seriously and uh, I should just be patient and, and try and do the best thing for me, for my career.